Hi everybody, it's Nikki, Caroline, and Gabe. I don't know if you know the difference between me and Caroline, but I'm Nikki. <laughs> um, we have never done a video like this before. I don't well, not in a long time. Yeah. But we wanted to share something with you um, that happened today. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a background. So Gabe is learning RPM, which stands for Rapid Prompting Method, and it is a technique used um, by non-speakers who usually have autism um, in how to spell to communicate. Yes. I think Caroline it's, can explain it a little bit better. It's basically a technique that teaches kids how to communicate through spelling on a letter board. Um, and so this is mm -hmm. an example of Gabe's letter board. He sees an instructor okay. once a week for half an hour. Um, and during his lessons, I should say, or during his sessions, um, she gives him the option of doing a lesson where she'll teach him something and they'll learn how to spell the words within that lesson and communicate on the letter board or she'll give him the option of just having a conversation and sharing something here set up a so little nikki's going to talk about what happened today at rpm so we're talking about your session today i hope that's okay with you we're so proud of you we want to share with you. we really are um so basically during the session, the session started off with Ingrid asking Gabe, do you want to do a lesson on something today? Because she has all these lessons that she plans ahead, you know, to teach the kids if that's something they're interested in. Or do you want to share something? So she had, basically she writes it on the paper and Gabe takes the pencil and he circles the answer. So he chose to share something. And you could tell he was immediately ready to go. He's got the letter board. He has the pencil that he, you know, sticks through. And he he ended up spelling out this. Here, will you hold this? Sure. It says, I have the sign. It says, I don't know if you could see this. Let me move. Actually, let me move like this. Here. It says, friend still missed. And then a whole lot of letters that it doesn't really make sense. And basically what was happening was he was talking about his friend his, whose name is Ariel. She has been away for two months. And every time we go to the RPM session, he has been talking a lot about that, about how he misses his friend, how having a friend means so much to him. He one time said, having a friend, you spelled out, having a friend fills my heart with fine love. Do you remember saying that? That was amazing. That was really cool. And I have that written down somewhere too. Um, I have all of these papers that I've saved where get, you know, where we have hear Gabe's thoughts, you know, coming right from him. It's so special, it means a lot. And so we're so proud of you. We're proud of you. We're so happy to know how you feel and what you're thinking about. So when he spelled that, um, Ingrid wanted to talk about that a little bit with me and I was you know, sharing with her, well, the great news is Ariel is coming home. She's been away for two months. She'll be back tomorrow. And we have all these plans made. So I told her, I told, reminded Gabe, and Gabe knows this because we talk to Ariel by FaceTime every, every day. single day. And we have gone over the fact <laughs> that she's coming home. You know, we have a countdown. We have a She board. made, this is so great. So she's so excited. She made a vis visual schedule um for our day so she's coming to see gabe on saturday so basically once we pick her up she decided she wants to go have ice cream at her favorite ice cream parlor and then she wants to come over and hang out with bailey and sit on our couch the couch <laughs> that she sees like every day when we do our facetime um she mentioned things like going to the pool she's so excited to drive around in the car and listen to music which is one of your favorite activities are you gonna listen to it no con i'll um, bet we're going to a concert with ariel um and some other friends of ours june 9th so we're so excited about that yeah so we have a lot going on but i think you know the point is we would not really know how he like we can assume how he feels based on how he acts but the fact that he has this letter board that is he's able to spell things yeah to let us know how he's feeling. You know, this is just the start. He only recently started doing this, so. I know, I can't wait to see. I started practicing with him too. So like at the end of the session, I started um, practicing, oh, I don't have my paper. 
Um, That's we were talking going. again about Ariel. I was going to talk to him about eating because we're having some issues with eating. But he wanted to talk about Ariel and his feelings about her coming home. So we're just so happy right now. And we could not wait to share this. But it was so funny, like where it says all these like letters that don't really make any sense. It was just based on, you could see he was excited talking about her coming home, like that he couldn't even contain it. No, he couldn't contain it. And then we asked him in other ways, like how he was feeling and he was circling the answers. Like he, we said, do you feel excited, happy or something else on written on a piece of paper? And he circled excited. And then to practice, we took out the letter board and he started spelling it on the board and you know and i just i cannot wait for it. next week he doesn't have a session but um the week after the following week he'll have another session with ingrid and i just cannot wait to hear what he has to say it's really awesome and we're definitely trying to like try it at home like obviously nikki goes to his sessions and she's learning um she's shared with me so we're all learning here mm -hmm. and we can't wait to see gabe continue to grow